placement and its related aspects. Hello friends, I am back. I was telling you the story of Munna. I told you how he was displaced from his village and how he came to Pune. I was very impressed with his story and went to my father with lot of unanswered questions. I wanted to know more about the process of displacement. I wanted to know about the difficulties faced by people during displacement and about the solutions to the problems. I went to my father who was reading a book. My father likes reading books. Learning Objectives To understand the consequences of displacement To understand the solutions for these problems Hello father, what are you studying? Can I talk to you? Yes, sure. Please sit. Father, today I met a boy who was displaced from his village and is facing many difficulties. Okay, why was he displaced? They are constructing a dam in his village and hence the officials ask the villagers to leave that place and move to another village. Displacement is a difficult process. Do you know that when we keep moving from one place to the other every two years, we also face many difficulties. Everything is new. The place, atmosphere, school, friends, everything is new. It takes us time to adjust to the new space. Yes, father, new school and new friends. But when Munna was displaced, he did not go to school for a year. Friends, I am sure some of you children must have moved from one place to another because of your parents' job. What have been your experiences? How did you adjust to the new place? However, when people are displaced due to various reasons like construction of dams, bridges, factories, highways, they face completely different problems. What problems? Munna was saying that he had to leave his fields and his school. Are you talking of such problems? Yes, there is a difference in transfer and displacement. Generally, people move from one place to another on transfer for some reason. Some people move from one place to the other on a transfer due to job change, on promotion or as a routine procedure. Generally, these people have financial security. Adjustments certainly take time, but these people have a sense of financial security. I am getting used to transfers now. Actually, I am also enjoying seeing new places. But Munna and his family are facing a completely different situation. But why father? How do they face financial problems? It is a good question. There is no doubt that dams, factories, bridges, highways etc. are very important for development but they bring their own set of drawbacks. If dams are built, we get energy. They are a means of storing water and this can be used for irrigation. There are many uses of the dam. You are absolutely right. There are many benefits of dams which you have mentioned earlier. What are the disadvantages due to the construction of dams? Due to the construction of dams, the displacement of tribal people, loss of non-forest land, loss of forests, flora and fauna takes place. This is another aspect of development. Oh, I see. Does the construction of highways also bring similar problems? Yes, of course. The construction of highways has its advantages and disadvantages. Highways connect various cities and villages. They speed up transportation and heavy goods are usually transported on highways. However, displacement problems also occur when roads are built. A large part of the land is taken up for road construction. 
due to which local people have to face lot of issues. Friends, we have highlighted the advantages of dams and roads projects. I am sure you have seen some developmental projects in your area. Can you list them and their benefits? Father, there is a big difference between our transfers and the displacement of Munna, isn't it? Yes, displacement creates landlessness, homelessness, neglect, food insecurity, increase in morbidity and mortality and becomes the cause of social dissatisfaction. People who are displaced face poverty. Poverty is because displaced people cannot generate income. It is very sad. I wish we could help Munna and many displaced families like his. Development is important. Development is possible by having dams, bridges, highways, military installations for security etc. But the government needs to plan everything so that people are not displaced suddenly. A proper rehabilitation policy should be drafted. Local people should be involved in planning projects right from the beginning. Their ideas should be taken. The government should do everything to protect the lives and rights of the displaced people. How is it possible, Father? The cost of giving land, houses and other property to the displaced should be borne by the government. The government should build rehabilitation sites and provide alternative land for agriculture to the displaced people. Government should also provide alternative jobs to help displaced people and undertake other economic rehabilitation activities. Oh, okay, Father. Is there any way we can help Munna? Give me some time. I know some agencies that are helping to educate such displaced children. I will talk to the agency concerned to help Munna and his sister. Thank you, Father. I am sure someone will help. We helped Munna and his sister by getting them enrolled in a school for street children. Munna is very happy that he is going to school. I am sure he will study well and lead a good life. In this video, we have learnt about problems caused by displacement and also learnt how to overcome them to some extent. Thank you for watching this video. Bye!